How to use CapCut online CapCut for tutorial. Hello guys, Ilya here and in this video I'm going to show you how can we use CapCut video editor online. Basically it's pretty easy just for the steps I do to not make any mistakes. So now we are on CapCut.com and here we are, here we can start in the right top corner you can log in or create an existing account so it will be like easier for us to deal with it. So as you can see we have like homepage, template, tools, create, resource or download. We can download like apps for Mac or for mobile. There's also like a lot of different resources with tutorials. So we have like uh, create um, templates, TikTok video editor, Facebook video editor, TikTok edit maker and so on. There is also like um, everything about tools like effects, filters, resize videos audios, text, but in this case we are going to create a project from scratch. So we need to click on blank canvas to create an empty project and we'll go to CapCut um, editor like online. What do we have here? In the top right corner we have like export, export area. We can just simply click on export and then just deal with it. Also we can just manage our accounts. In the left side there is like main menu here, we can switch between media, stock images, audios, text, stickers, effects, transitions, filters and library. So all of them are here. If we need to import some media, all we need to do is just to click on uh, project media and project here and there is the option to drag and drop our files or we can just simply click on browse and use it right up here. So I will just import two videos from my desktop. It may take a little time because you know, uh, there is like, it's online server basically. So after that we can deal with it. We can also import different photos, um, music, audio, everything is right up here. To place it on our workspace, we need to select them and then just drag and drop on our timeline. So all we need to do is just to simply click on them and then just move on our timeline which is in the middle of the screen. So now we can just move it here. So as you can see now we have some audio, I will disable it to make it more comfortable to edit. What can we do here is simply change the resolution, if we'll click on it here we can just and open like in a full size, if you click on the original, we can change the resolution to make it more suitable for YouTube, for example, or for TikTok if you want to like create TikTok video or YouTube shorts or Instagram reels. Uh, if you're clicking on our timeline or any single element, we can see the opportunity to uh, work with this video, for example. In the right side there is a menu, where can we change size, position, rotate, we can change the opacity as you can see. We can also add some audio settings here, uh, add some voice effects if you have audio. Also there is like speed option, if we need to increase our speed we can just simply change it right up here. And also there is like animation, in animation, out animation and combo animation. So to make it appear in a beautiful transition we need to click on in animation to make it disappear like out and combo it will be like while video is playing, you know. In the stock videos area here we have a lot of uh, different stock footages, like we can, uh, you know, filter them by favorite, animations, cut out and so on. So basically there are tons of different effects and all I suggest you is that you can simply try to search for uh, videos or you can like try to find them by sc simply scrolling down. For example, this beautiful landscape, we can just simply add it right up here. So there are a lot of uh, like uh, videos, a lot of photos, a lot of like drone shootings and so on. So as you can see, it's pretty, pretty, like sometimes it would be really pretty, pretty good, which is suitable for our service. In audio area, there is like uh, no copyright sounds we can add to our videos. They're free to use, also there is a huge library, we can try to find the most suitable track as for us. Or we can just try to search for it. In effects area, also like some effects, like victory, cheerings, applause, whistlings, cheerings for a goal, cheerings, applause and so on. 
In the text area there is like uh, different text templates or we can simply add the text which is like default so like this. We can change it simply click on our timeline choose the text what is like it be let it be like helperman or some other stuff. We also have the menu for this text we can change the font we can change the color we can choose style for example if it's necessary so this is a way of how can we deal there are a lot of different settings here for example for spacing for alignment for position and size for blend for outline for shadow there are a lot of them tones also like animation area here or text to speech if you're interested to make it like text to speech we can simply click and then just add so now audio will be added and we can even hear it yeah as you can see in stickers area there is like a different stickers effect so we can add something from here we can also try to search or just add some stickers to our favorite and maybe use it simply drag and drop and now they will just appear on our video on our project in effects area we can deal with different effects so we can add them to our video so it's just simply drag and drop and after that our video will be like shaked as in this case or do some other stuff so basically everything is pretty easy just drag and drop try it by yourself because there are tons of different effects for example this one is pretty pretty like interesting sometimes it could be helpful um basically there is like also like copyright issues or notifications if you will have like this option you may know that there is like for example this sticker is about copyright claim so in order to use it you need to have the permission or you need to delete it but these like materials are free commercial use for a limit time so basically as you can see we can use it in transitions area there is like option to add some transitions between video for example up Let's try to edit to show the process. So just simply drag and drop it between videos. And now our video will look like this. Yeah, transition will be pretty, pretty uh, like uh, fast. In filters area, the same. We can add different filters or do some other stuff. Sometimes it could be really helpful. So as you can see, the picture has changed for a little. So this is how can we deal with filters and library. Uh, there will be some library here. To export video, we need to click on export in the right top corner here. Just click on export, add the file name, choose the resolution, and then just click on export. It may take a little time because it's not like on our computer, it's like a server based application, so it may take a little time. So after that, this file will be successful downloaded to your computer, and this is a way of how can we deal with CapCut PC online. Hope this video helped you out. If it is, please leave a like, comment and subscribe. I wish you a very good day. Goodbye.